Hey guys, so um, technology. Um, yeah, so today I am brewing a uh, hoppy pilsner, which is going to be my first time doing a style like that. I got Bruce out here, uh, out on the back porch, and right now we're in the final boil stage of uh, well, the boiling. Uh, for this particular recipe, um, I basically blew out all style guidelines that there are and decided to make it super hoppy and um, a little bit high on the ABU side, or on the um, alcohol side. It's supposed to come in with a uh, uh, original gravity of about uh, 1054 and go down to about uh, 1013. That should put me right around um, 5.4 ABV. Now, <clears throat> I'm using um, my second go around with Imperial Yeast. I'm using the Imperial Harvest Strain, um, 20 billion sale, cells per pack, and as with the uh, cable card that I used before on the, uh, the steam beer, this is going to be uh, a no pitch. You just um, have it in the fridge, um, uh, massage it up before you're going to pitch it into your fermenter, and throw it right in. No muss, no fuss. Now Imperial is a little more spendy than your than some of the, the dry yeast, of course, but what you're getting out of yeast propagation seems to be a lot better. Um, the um, steam or Anchor Steam clone, the you know, uh, California Common that I did last time, seemed to have turned out really well. Had a really nice finish. A little bit higher on the uh, hoppy side. I think it's because I boiled it a little bit too much. I was trying to overcompensate for under sparging. Um, but I think it turned out real well. It came in about four and a half percent. So um, right now I have added my Irish moss and um, this is a, a three hop beer. Um, I started off with an ounce of German Northern Brewer pellets and then um, at the 15 minute mark I went with Czech Sands and then just to hop it up a little bit more I added some German Northern Brewer then here, um, actually in about three or four minutes, I'm going to put in um, more sands, uh, or sods, hops, uh, another ounce of pellet hops, and these are all standard, not cryo. Um, and my IBU should come in, according to Beersmith, around 46 and a half. Um, this has uh, nine pounds of Belgian Pilsner malt, and then another two pounds of Munich. Um, about an 11 pound grain bill, which really isn't too bad. And all you Pilsner guys out there, I know you're gonna be going completely eight because I'm not going true to style, but I'm not really trying to go true to style. I haven't treated my water. Uh, I haven't done anything like that. I am just making a good, you know, kind of American Pilsner, basically. What I'm effectively trying to achieve is something very close to uh, Tin Barrel Brewing's out of office hype, hoppy Pilsner. If you guys haven't tried that yet, you definitely should. Um, but that's what's going to be going next. Um, if you want, um, leave a comment. I can give you the full grain bill, timing, recipe, the whole nine. Um, otherwise, just uh, you know, give a thumbs up and uh, let me know if there's uh, anything else you want to see on the channel. Thanks much, and uh, I'll be talking to you guys soon.